Hi, good morning. How are you? It's nice to be here. I'm done now being a governor of California. So I'm back in the movies. I was a small boy from Austria and I had nothing. Only seven world titles. <laughs> now I say things like, come on, kill me. I'm right here. Come on. Mr. Rocky Balboa, can I get a short answer of why'd you become a fighter? Uh, yo, uh, you know, I didn't know what to do about it, you know, I just thought that, you know, I'd get out, you know, I would fight the fight, you know, and, and Adrian, you know, she didn't want me to fight the fight, and, you know, so I was like, yo, Adrian, you know, I gotta do it, I, I gotta be a man, I'm a fighter, you know, you might go blind. Yes, thank you very much, sir, it's, it's an honor, thank you for your wonderful answer. People ask me all the time, how did you confess to your wife about the scandal? I tell them, well, I sat her down one night, we'd had dinner, drank wine, I looked deep into her eyes, and I said, baby... I gotta go home and tell Hillary. Uh, Mr. Forrest Gump, what was it like to meet the President of the United States? When I met the President of the United States, they put you in this little bitty room with all it is to eat or drink. I wasn't really hungry, but I was thirsty. I must have drank me about 13 Dr. Peppers. I love my Jenny. Does someone saw the precious? Well, once it. Well, they're the precious and they'll stole it from us. Name dishonest, and that's the honest man you can always trust to be dishonest. Honestly, it's the honest ones that you need to look out for. Always savvy. Now you want to talk about experience, okay? I was in underwater demolition for 20 years. Buildings don't fall like that. If the government wanted to cover it up, don't you think they could if you think? I was governor of Minnesota. I did a pretty damn good job of it too. And here I am, you've invited me to your show. And I'm giving my opinion. Why am I being attacked? I'm just asking questions. People ask me, how did you decide to become a male model? And I tell them, well, some people are born male and others are born female. And I was born ridiculously good looking. So I guess being a male model wasn't really a choice in the matter. <laughs> well, all right, all right. I too know what it's like to be incredibly good looking. We're all pretty things in this messed up world and the only way we're gonna fix this world if we all drive Lincolns and take our shirts off. <laughs> but all right. Unless the president's got something better to say. Now, let me be clear. The world is under a great amount of threat from a horrible dictator. And I'm not talking about Kim Jong-un or Vladimir Putin. Nope. I'm talking about the man himself, Mr. T. And I'm not referring to Rock either. But in order for this great nation to come together as one, we're all going to need... Uh, Obamacare. Thank you, everyone. Have a pleasant evening. God bless America. Thank you.